Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be creating light streaks in Adobe After Effects. Now if you're not sure what light streaks are, I'll just give you a little demo before we go into the tutorial. Now, what I've got on the timeline here is a very simple piece of footage that I shot on um, well, what you can see is a very windy sort of summer's day. And it's not a bad piece of footage, shaky, handheld, it's not what I intended, but I want to give it a little bit more of a stylized lift. And I'm going to do that by adding a light streak. And here's one I made earlier. Let's just turn it back on. We'll render the footage back out and you can get an idea of what a light streak is. So now that you can see it, I'm pretty confident you've probably seen these before. And they crop up a lot on music videos, advertising in particular and promos and occasionally you'll see them on sports videos and I'm starting to even see them crop up on um, wedding videos and the general intention is to give everything a little bit more of a stylized slightly fantastical lift. Now you'll see lots of plugins and light streaks available to buy uh, online um, to plug into your software but the truth is I think you can save your money and using um, the CC particle world in After Effects, you can do a pretty good fist of creating your own. So let's delete what I've created here and let's get to work and show you how to create a light streak. So let's just pause this, delete the light streak layer, and we'll get to work. I'm going to start by going to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm going to place the light streak in time onto this solid. I'm going to call the solid light streak, leave it as comp size, don't worry about the color, that's kind of really irrelevant at this stage. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to trim it back a little bit, just so it's the same size as my video clip. Now, on the light streak layer, make sure you've got it selected. Go to Effects and Presets, look for Particle World, there it is. We're going to drag that and put it onto the solid layer. Up here are a number of parameters that you can adjust and I'm just going to take you through them bit by bit. Just to point out this is not a detailed tutorial on particle world. The particle world is a dense, complex and one of my favorite um, effects and it can be used for all sorts of things creating fire, gases, wind, rain, you name it. Um, so I'm not going to go into it in too much depth. That's a tutorial we might save for another day. But as I go through it, I will give you a rough idea of what each of these sections are doing. We'll start with grid and guides, and these are used to give you an idea of where your particle world, or rather your particles, are placed on the screen. And I'm going to hide all these at the moment by just doing this. I'm going to deselect all of those, and I'd recommend you do the same. For this tutorial, you probably don't really need them. So grid and guides, hide all of these, or deselect all of these here. Let's close that back up. The next thing we're going to go to is the thing here called the producer. Now the producer will define the size and the position on screen of your particles. And the particles here are these things. At the moment they don't look much like a light streak, but they will in time. So back to the producer. Again, just to remind you, this will help you define the size and the position of your particles. So let's open that. And to be honest, I'm going to show you what I've set in time. Once you get the hang of it, feel free to play with your own. I think my settings work fairly well, but of course, create your own later on in time. For position X, I'm going to go for 0 0.04. Position Y, 0 0.41. Position Z, minus 1.10. Radius X, 0. Radius Y, 1.1. Whoops, I've just had an install there. Um, let me just cancel that. Apologies, apologies ladies and gentlemen. I'll uh, come back to that later. Sorry, where was I? Um, radius Z, 0 0.83. So, 0 0.04. 0 0.41, minus 1.10, 0, 1.1, 0 0.83. So the position is where it will be on the screen, and of course the radius is the size 
of the particles. In time though, you'll learn to play with these and move them around the screen in any manner that you wish. Right, let's close that back down. And the next thing I'm going to go to is the particle. And this will define the shape and sort of the movement of the particles. And particle type, I'm going to go for faded sphere. OK, we're getting a little closer to what we need. On the uh, birth size, I'm going to go for 2.2. Death size, 2.25. Now already, if you look on the monitor screen, you can see it's starting to take shape. Size variation, 5. Max opacity, 100. OK, that's starting to look pretty good. Um, the colour map you can leave um, from birth to death. And in time, if you want to, you can, of course, change your birth and death colours by clicking on the tab there. I'm going to leave mine as they are for the time being. But of course, in time, when you want to customise and make your own light streaks, uh, it's probably going to be the case. You're going to spend quite a bit of time adjusting your colours. Right, let's close the particle back down. And I think let's finish off with extras and the effect camera. This will actually make just some slight adjustments again to the positioning of the particles on the screen. A little bit like what we did in the producer up here, but it's just some final tweaking. So effects, effect camera, and on the, the uh, distance I'm going to go for 0 0.62. I'm going to leave the rotation X and Y and on rotation Z, I'm going to click here and put 1, 2, 6. OK, that should do it. Close extras down, and we've got one more step to go. Now, the physics will affect the gravity influence on the particles. So I'm going to open physics, and I'm going to switch all of them to 0. So we don't want them moving around the screen. We want them to stay as a constant. But again, in time, you can play with them in the way that you want. So under physics, put all of these settings here to zero. And make sure the animation is on explosive. It should be anyway as a default. So animation, explosive. Close physics down, and we're nearly done. The last thing you need to do is the blend mode for the light streak layer, or the solid, you need to put to screen. When we've done that, if we scrub through the timeline, there's a lovely light streak. Let's render it through now and see how it looks. OK, not too shabby. So, simple solid here, simple particle world. Let's just keep it playing. And you've got your own very effective light streaks without the need to splash out money on plugins online. Okay folks, hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.